All right, I'm going to do a Scorpio, Scorpio rising and Scorpio moon together reading. <laughs> okay, so I already picked three cards from Rumi. I'm going to read those, and then I'm going to do it like, uh, I'm going to go Scorpio, Scor Scorpio rising, and Scorpio moon, <clears throat> like that. Okay. All right. I'm having my green tea I ordered from Japan. <laughs> this morning okay Ooh, that's so nice all right I made it extra strong though <laughs> all right here we go let's start this Scorpio okay your touch dazzles all creation every particle is attracted to you longing to unite and dwell in you okay. every seed will sprout above the ground and from that source fresh stems will grow in a few branches wither and dry if a few branches wither and dry the rest will bear fruit now these are uh, little clippings from Rumi all right now you are like the cypress in the meadow and I am your devoted shadow I am sheltered in your shade under a canopy of roses okay so that's a Scorpio moon <clears throat> So it's like something beautiful uh, waiting to be uncovered, even in the shadow. <clears throat> All right, so let's see. Um, mm. All right, let's use this deck. Your touch dazzles all creation. Every particle is attracted to you, longing to unite and dwell in you. Let's see what that is. Okay, so first off, what I'm getting is it's taken you a long time to get where you are. It's been the journey. But I feel like you're in the most loving place ever. This is like um, love for humanity kind of energy. Oh, didn't you get Cyprus in somewhere? Okay, so that's like Greek. Feeling like a Greek god. <laughs> okay. All right, so there's that. King of Cups. Prince of Pentacles. All right, so I feel like you want to share your values. If you have children, you want to share your values uh, with your children. Uh, if you have a son, it's specifically pointing to that. Now feel like you're dealing with some like a Virgo uh, Leo kind of energy okay that's what I'm picking up here Virgo Leo Leo I'm picking up from the uh, peacock and uh, Virgo I'm picking up from the Prince of Pentacles okay so it's like you want to extend your values and all that has been taught to you over time okay and but sometimes when you think about doing that there it, there feels it feels like there's um, on some I feel like it's on both sides feeling sensitive but whatever that uh, contrasting experience was what I'm getting is is that it's gonna balance out okay so it it's like the love is eternal, right? The love is eternal, no matter what happens. But um, it's like infinity is yet to be proven. So it's like in this time, space, reality, you're wondering if you're going to be able to bring it together. All right. Now, for some of you who don't have children, this is like you moving with love in the earth realm okay and sometimes you find that um what's the word i'm reaching for you find that challenging to really open up okay 
sometimes. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't think that's necessarily a scorpionic trait, but um, anyway, so here's that Leo energy coming again. So I feel like there's some type of energy you feel like is like the the Shiva Shiva energy. Here you had the Shiva Lingam, and here is like looking like Shiva here. Okay, so um, now this could represent that Pluto energy because Shiva kind of be kind of like that energy. Okay, so finding the courage through the challenges and. All right, whatever the warring mind is. Okay, trying to move to more calmer waters and burst something magnificent, even through the shadow, right? Okay. Wow, that's nice. Okay. All right, so, so wish fulfillment is happening here. Look, drinking the wine of the gods and eating grapes. So I feel like um, getting outdoors... And really enjoying, like, the outdoors, I feel like, even though this one seems like he's indoors. But I feel like getting outdoors is uh, what's going to help you feel like yourself. Okay. Now, that's interesting because, see, okay, look. Here's the, here's the, um, the infinity symbol, right? And that's the two of pinnacles. And then here is the tables, and it's kind of like that too. All right, so that's saying that you're gonna feel more balanced like yourself again. Okay, so let's get a spark of balance. Okay. Okay, so just listen. Maybe just listen while you eat grapes. <laughs> okay, rest your day by choosing a new higher purpose. Okay, observe a body of water or the sky. Okay, and that looks like this one, right? Okay. All right, so I feel like uh, connecting with air energy. Um, someone has a partner that's an air sign, and I feel like... Um, that's going to be colorful experience with you two. Visualize yourself immersed in colors. Ooh, yeah, this one has colors, right? Green, blue, yellow or golden, and orange. Okay. Yeah. Nine of Cups is wish fulfillment here. Okay. Make something creative that uplifts others. I feel like you do that. Daydream about a retreat you might enjoy taking. Yeah, it's like doing that and then handing it over to spirit and letting them fill in the delicious part. Okay. All right, so do something physical and try to focus only on that activity. Now, what's coming up here is um, walking. Something easy, not anything that has wheels and is fast. I'm getting, I'm getting like... Uh, walking, horseback riding for someone, not for everyone. Okay. And um, what's the other one? All right. What's the other one? Oh, okay. Uh, like Tai Chi. Try Tai Chi. I feel like that movement would help you to focus in a way that will... Uh, flow in prosperity okay tai chi okay now i got relax and feel the weight of your body yeah that's the feeling i got i got i imagined like um uh, what was that like flowing person flowing with the the weight of the body and moving it you know like flowing the uh, movements all right that's what I got all right okay so nine of cups queen of cups so I said imagined right imagined so it's like using your uh, imagination your imagineering capabilities Woo! queen of cups 
Okay, so that's what I was saying about if you have a partner, um, it's, it's going to be really delicious, especially, I think, during the summer. Okay, now, that this person might be the one to be the uh this feminine energy might be the one that brings in this harmony okay now if not i feel like that's asking you to be in your feminine divine loving energy right and when they do reach out be in a receptive mode so that you can communicate and harmonize um, your life to a higher level okay now for you singles, it may take strength and courage to find balance in your life, you feel like, in order to go towards a partner. I'm um, getting like that Hera energy here again. Okay, so maybe it's uh, Italian. Okay, anyway, all right, so, and there is a potential for love to come in if you flow with it, all right. And the key is not to do this, right? It's like be in your power, but also, um, this is like putting your foot down. There's something with house here with the webs. What is that? Okay, well, anyway... For one partner, one partner might be super protective of you, and um, huh? Okay. So, I'm getting something like Wicked Stepmother. I don't know what that is. What is that? All right. Anyway, let's just say um, I'm getting something from, you know, like those English courts. They wear those wigs. That's what I'm getting. I don't know what that is. Okay. But anyway, I feel like... There's going to be fair play. That's what I feel like I want to say. Now, when people are younger, right? Where is that card? When people are younger, uh, they view things differently. But I think over time, they're going to start to understand what really matters in life, right? And that it's not just about the outside world and um, union and family is so important and I feel like over time they will come to understand that and this one will be viewed as this energy okay all right I feel like this could even represent you okay acting like you don't care when you really do Oh, I get also what's being said here. Okay, so how you're raised, right, is a big thing. And sometimes, like, they're showing me, like, in my family. <laughs> you know how, uh, okay. Okay, in families, they say they're never going to be like so-and-so in the family, right? And they, And then they end up being just like them. Okay, so see if there are some of those things that you've unconsciously uh, moved into and you would like to associate with community and people in a different way somehow. It's like bringing all the best aspects of what was given to you and then fusing that with your unique things that you bring to the table okay 
Now, let's get a card on that. All right, we're going to use this. Time. Okay, so if you're older, I want to say if you're 70 and older. I didn't know I had people in demographics that would come see me in the 70s. Okay, anyway, all right, so whoever it is, doesn't matter how old you are, for someone, there is a concern about time. All right, so let's see. Try new language. <laughs> people who speak more than one language have better listening multitasking. Oh, see, you got listening in the sparks, and you got listening here. People who speak more than one language have better listening, multitasking, and critical thinking, and problem-solving skills. Nowadays, you can learn a new language in just 15 minutes a day using a free language app. Okay, now, if you're in America, my suggestion would be Spanish, because yesterday I was watching this video about um, the the different immigrants over time that um, was the biggest group and I felt like a Spanish group was the biggest okay so anyway that's a little thing in there all right so now but you know learn whatever okay nowadays you can learn a new language in just 15 minutes a day using a free language app swap out 15 minutes of social media a day and you could be bilingual or trilingual yeah social media does take a lot of time Okay. All right. Now, what I'm getting is, if you speak Spanish already, what would be the next, um, I'm getting French. I wonder if it's because of the Spanish-French uh, backgrounds of some of these people here. Okay. I'm getting French. Oh, I got Spain yesterday. Okay. Anyway, download the language app of your choice and try it out for 30 days. Okay. Duolingo is free. And Babel is free. And they have, there's another one that I was using. Even if you just learn one word a day and you do that, or like three words a day, over time, just having knowledge of that vocabulary would be easy to pick up the language, but just by mm, watching movies. All right. Make it fun, right? Okay. Or, like, for example, if you like makeup, right, then you could, like, um, play the makeup video in another language and put on the CC and then go to the settings part for auto translate into English and then uh, that would be another way you could learn all right okay so let me go back to the age thing since I feel like now this is might be an older crowd okay um, I want to say that we are ageless <clears throat> And I feel like by putting focus on not enough time, uh, then that's what uh, it feels like. So uh, there is a biological explanation for that. As we age, the hormones can cause time to seem like it's faster. So, um, all right. So just, um, <clears throat> you know, like when... I don't know if you would remember a time like this when you were a kid you just laid out in a field of uh, grass or flowers right just laid down and the wind blowing right it's like a soft breeze and you just lay there and you feel like time was infinite that's the feeling you want to bring in okay now see this one is like an egg and a turtle okay so Merkaba. Anyway, Merkaba. Okay, so there's eggs everywhere. There's an egg here and time here and an egg here. Okay, so something is being birthed. Okay, so 
I feel like if you're a very social person, learning one or two languages will be fun when you connect with people. <laughs> Even if uh, you say the wrong thing, you know, <laughs> it might be fun. Okay, I'm getting that heavily. Okay, so, all right. Okay, so let's keep going. Okay. All right, so this is coming up. Accomplish an important goal. Create create a 12-week plan to accomplish a meaningful personal goal. Break your main goal down into three smaller goals. And for someone, it's eating more greens. I'm getting that. Okay, and also including like a rainbow of fruits for someone. Okay, so it's like you want to balance out, though, um, doing more greens, I think, than the fruits, but... Uh, including that I feel like that will give you 